another wonderful trip. I am here at the Progreso, which is the Texas side. As soon as we cross the border bridge, we will be the Nuevo Progreso, which is in Mexico. We're going shopping, so what do you say you come with us and see what this is all about? Park on the right, spend $2 for the day, and walk across the bridge. You don't want to drive because you need Mexican car insurance, very expensive and hard to get here in America. It costs $1 per person to go across the bridge to Mexico and then 30 cents on your return back. As you're crossing the bridge, you will see down below there's the homeless. Don't forget to drop a quarter for those who are not as fortunate. In the last part, when you get to the other side of the bridge, you will be going through uh, the screening TSA. Make sure that you're not carrying any weapons. Put your items on the conveyor belt. You don't need any documentation to go across the border. However, coming back, if you don't have your up-to-date American passport or if you have your driver's license and your birth certificate, now let's get to the shopping. This is my pharmacy where I come and buy all my meds. Slam right into your face. You can expect a lot of people to jump into your face with cards about pharmacy, about medication. Oh, and let's not forget the dentist. Lots of folks on your face got dental. The pottery is beautiful, however, I don't use any pottery for uh, eating out of, only for lead contamination purposes, just to be sure. Also, if you want to buy large pots for planting, for example, you want to get them on the other side of the bridge. In town, like Progresso or nearby other towns, they have great pots, very inexpensive. These tops are nine bucks plus 40% off. And we are um, kind of like a shopping center. Do you want to stay, uh, as soon as you cross the bridge, you want to stay on the shopping area, which is about four blocks. You want to go on the right, come back on the left, across the street, and this is where you want to stay. You don't want to venture into town. Very nice Mexican. If you like Mexican anything, this is a beautiful store. I love their clothing, I love their colors. <laughs> Alright, Arturo's was really good, good punch. Two people, 19 bucks. Excellent food, yes. Oh my god. Here goes my tortilla soup. And I got dessert coming. We're gonna go buy some flea medication for my doggy. Dame dos, por favor. Dos cajitas. Dos Alrighty, my little Penny has her fleas taken care of. I must tell you, the pedicures are amazing. Totally thorough and professional. Also, it's only $12 plus a tip and the haircuts for the guys are 6 bucks. For me, it's a little more, sometimes 10 sometimes 15 depending on where you go. Hispanic when I used to live in South America, I pretty much didn't really go to the doctor very often. I you go to the uh, pharmacist and you tell them your condition and more than likely there'll be something over the counter that doesn't require a prescription. Things like heartburn medication, high blood pressure, stomach issues, cholesterol, even sleep aids. There are so many medications that you can buy without any problems taking it across the border. Just take one bottle, don't be taking it for your whole family. The only thing the border has ever asked me was pain medication. What am I bringing for pain? And I don't bring any of that, so stay away from that. Also, I bring alcohol, I drink alcohol there. I'm supposed to be paying a tax for a couple of bottles of Kahlua. I never got even charged for it. Also, I visit the dentist. I get a complete professional cleaning for $25 every six months when I go there. I don't have a dentist over here. If I had insurance, I would use it, but I don't. For me, I'm very fortunate that the border is really close and I can get all of these things very inexpensively. I hope you enjoy this tour of Mexico, some of the cost savings. 
some of the fun things that you can do and have fun with. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you on our next trip.